The school is not just, you know, one little aspect of life. It sort of, it interacts and it sort of ties together with all parts of life. Um, so there, that's, that's pretty special, yeah. Personally, I just think it's more important than ever. Um, it was important for our kids uh, and our kids have benefited from it greatly. I think Christian schools are more important than ever in these days. Um, 40 years ago or even 20 years ago when I started, we were, we were sort of the support act for Christian families. We were there to, to give the children a good education in a Christian environment. But I, I'm, I'm much more passionate about it now because I think uh, the way our culture is headed where um, Christianity is now not popular, is even hated, I think Christian schools have an enormous responsibility and privilege uh, to teach truth, to bring truth to children that they won't find anywhere else in the world. So I think, uh, I, for me, the, look, the real key role for Christian schools now is to, is to teach truth about everything. <laughs> it, the family unit is, to me, the key area where, key place where children are growing and developing and learning. And so that's the unit that I want to support, not take away from or I want to be underneath, yeah, and around, not yet supporting in that, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, when considering one of the, the questions of what where to now for Cairo, you know, like the thing that um, struck me most was what Christians are up against now um, with the change in um, social structure and, you know, pick your own gender and, and all of those things that kids face these days. And what is truth? You know, truth is whatever you want truth to be. So someone's got to deliver truth somewhere. And so I think we're, we're Christian schooling is more relevant than ever. I think it's up against it <laughs> as well. I think Christian schools now have a different place. Some things are still the same and some things are a little bit different. Our culture's changed. Um, and I think one of the key things is that currently our world doesn't hold much as being solid. A lot of things are fluid. They're up for grabs. They're up for um, debate. You can shape your own identity. Um, but that's actually a lot of pressure and that's really difficult. Um, that's, that's a huge thing for, for our young people. And to have a place where we say, you are made in the image of God, your future is secure, you, you've been built and created in a certain way for a purpose. Um, I think our young people are looking for that. I think that's really important to give them that security and that knowledge and a safe place to, um, to then question other things from. Um, and not just for our Christian families, we're having you know, numerous families come through and just say, we value what you, what you do um, and we like your values <laughs> and we feel that they're important. And I think at this point, uh, Christian schools are a solid place uh, in a world that's very fluid, moving, turbulent, um, and we provide a haven and a strong foundation. As a parent, I, well, we tried to um, talk about God in a way that wasn't just something you did on Sunday. It was something that was as you as you go all the time. When you sit, when you rise, when you go to bed, you talk about it as you as things happen, and and that's what I do in the classroom as well. And that's what I'd hope I can encourage other parents to do as well, because I've found that's that's where it becomes real. It's not something that's segmented or boxed somewhere else, it's, yeah. In today's culture, where there is so many distractions, there's so many temptations, there's so much taking, uh, the, yeah, taking, taking us away from, um, from Christ. It just needs a place like a light. I see, I see Cairo as a light um, in, a, in a world that's getting growing darker. 
for me, apart from the obvious teaching them yeah. to read and yeah. that sort of thing, the education part of it, really the, the, the thing at Cairo that I'd like to do is to give them a sense of who God is yeah. and and his plan and story. Yeah. And, and we try to go through the whole Bible in the year with the preps just in a really simple way, but they're getting the idea that that God made the world, that there's a problem, and he sent somebody to rescue them. And, and we've got hope to look forward to. So that is my, hopefully they get, go away from here knowing that, and that just is growing, grows over time, yeah. Christian schools are ultimately an educational institution. We're here to educate children. And I, and I always believe it should be the very highest standard possible. Uh, and that the children should be taken to the very limit of their abilities and that we should be teaching better than anybody. So there was that sense of a real desire to be academically excellent, but at the same time, uh, bringing the truths of God's word to, to the world that the children were living in. And so they can, they can understand that, yes, I need to be everything that God made me to be, but I need to know Him as well. So putting those two together, I think to be both an excellent school uh, but also to, to have the children well grounded in the Word of God.